It's getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. Yep, the tea was amazing too. You don't have to go all polite on me. Just remember to come when I invite you next time. Hmm, let's see. It's dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiang Ling, Sing Cho, and Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. No need. I'm headed towards the harbor to meet a friend on the ship. There's no need to trouble one such as Mr. Zhang Li. I think you know the place I'm talking about. Come meet me anytime. It was great getting to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Bye. Oh, we should write poetry together sometime. We'll catch you all later then. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. Understood. See you later. <sighs> well then. Rex Lapis. Just Zhongli will do. I live as a mortal in Liu Harbor now. I am just one among many who begin work at sunrise and retire to rest at sundown. If we were to consider status and seniority as Zhongli, I should be respectfully referring to you as Adeptus Shao. Ugh. Heaven forbid. Not you too. <laughs> I meant what I said. I heard that during the Lantern Rite Music Festival, you conferred with Streetward Rambler and Cloud Retainer. I take it as you've gained a lot more knowledge about the past? The same truth will sound different coming from different people. As more bear witness to a story, feelings and interpretations expand in variety too. I once had a pleasant chat about the past and present with a Sumeru scholar named Soraya, and learned a few things about her research topic. From the evidence she found and the conclusion she made, her area of research is already very close to the truth. But there are multiple sides to humans and gods alike. In the legends recorded by humans, some gods were depicted as arrogant and condescending, while others were kind and capable. But whether to me, Streetward Rambler, Cloud Retainer, or younger Adepti such as Shao and Ganyu, those Adepti and gods that may seem extraordinary to humans are something more akin to close companions. This was as true back then as it is right now. Just how Shao may seem unapproachable to most, but the Traveler has proved otherwise. So there's no need to dwell too much on certain things. Rex La... <clears throat> I mean, Zhang Li, what you're saying is... It looks like you understood what I meant. Ah, the Director asked me to accompany you on your return. But I don't think you'll need my protection. I'll be taking a walk around and admiring the night scenery. After that, It'll be time for me to go back and meet up with the director. Goodbye for now. Bye, Zhongli! Everyone's gone now. Paimon always feels a little empty inside when a lively celebration ends. But at least you always stay by Paimon's side. No, no, no. Paimon got it mixed up. Paimon, the best and most distinguished travel guide! We'll always stay by your side, Traveler. Hmm. Good that you were aware of that. Shell, is there anything else you want to do? We could take you on a tour of Liyue Harbor. No need. I've stayed here for much longer than I had expected. The city lights are a fine sight. But it's time for me to leave. The events of today occurred so abruptly. I appreciate your kindness. Okay. I'll... See you next time, then.
Okay, now I need to get a move on and write my next song. <laughs> Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? Oh, oh, oh man! Yeah, I can already picture it! I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore.
This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls... Ah, makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt, too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no-drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. <laughs>